Oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm taking a nap. I deserve it. After all, I just saved the entire planet. That's right. The whole planet and everyone on it, you included. You see, it all started far out in space. I mean, far out. They have this popular chain of fast food restaurants. They're all over the galaxy. You'll find one on practically every asteroid. Welcome to Neptunian Nuclear Chicken. May I take your order, please? I will have the Jupiter-sized module of chicken wings. Extra crunchy. Jupiter space back, extra crunchy. Oh, and a side of coleslaw. One side of coleslaw. Thank you. Now you might be wondering how I know about this, right? Well, I've seen this cartoon before. So anyway, this chain of restaurants is owned by this not very nice guy. What do you mean? I can't open another bajillion restaurant. No one tells me what I can't do. But Commander Harlan, we have not enough chickens. Maybe not, but we will. Come with me. Where are we going? Anticipating this need, I set up a secret research outpost on Earth. In no time at all, they were streaking towards Earth, where certain individuals you may recognize were stopping for chow. We're just going in for a small snack. Do you know what a small snack is, Garfield? Do you know what a foolish question is, John? Even if you took every chicken on this planet, it would not be enough for your needs, Commander. That is why we've developed a ray that will turn every man, woman, and animal on this planet into <laughs> a chicken. Bring in the test subject, and we'll see how it works. <laughs> Pepperoni and a mushroom. Uh. A sausage and a black olive. <laughs> <laughs> Meat lovers is special. <laughs> ay, 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 leave some room, Garfield. We're making a lasagna. <laughs> I don't see your delivery boy working today, Vito. Oh, I just sent him to make a delivery across the street. He'll be right back. No, he wouldn't be, because the delivery boy was about to become the delivery chicken. But I just came to deliver a pizza. Just stand there for one more moment. <laughs> this ray, this will really transform him into, yes. <laughs> a chicken! Oh. You owe me Get that to Vito's twelve dollars for the pizza plus It worked! Can we fry him now? Not yet. First I have to bombard the entire city. Everyone is getting zapped by the rays. It will work faster on some than others, but soon they will all be chickens. <laughs> Everyone? Every Earth creature, except anyone who is at this moment ingesting an inhuman quantity of ricotta cheese, tomato paste, and pasta. <laughs> Who would imagine that an inhuman quantity of ricotta cheese, tomato sauce, and pasta could taste so good? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Peyote, something wrong? Uh-uh. Oh, my God! that's the worst chicken imitation I've ever seen. <laughs> And 
that was the best one. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Oh, I know. I'll ask John. We should be going, Garfield. We have to stop on the way home and. Tell me it's not so. Tell me John and Odie haven't been turned into chickens. <laughs> Italian chicken, chicken parmesan. I have to get out of this coop, a uh, restaurant. <laughs> help, I need help, lots of help. A policeman, he help. Officer, officer, I would like to report two people and a dog being mysteriously transformed into chickens. <laughs> Crazy things are happening. As the chickening of the population spread across the state, the governor called a hurried press conference. <laughs> this is awful. This is a disaster. Things could not be worse. Let this be a lesson to you. Never say things could not get worse. Things will always find a way of getting worse. It landed in the park. It was met by the rotten commander, Harlan. It will take many trips, but we'll transport all the chickens back home. <laughs> I can hardly wait to start frying them all up. Frying them all up? How are you going? to get them all into our spacecraft. Simple. Chickens love corn. I need to find some way to get inside. <laughs> and then he... <clears throat> I joined the procession of poultry. And I would have made it too, except I suddenly remembered something awful. <laughs> I'm allergic to chicken feathers. <laughs> Aren't you even going to say gazunte? Stop that, cat. <laughs> <laughs> Turn me into a chicken. Turn everyone into a chicken. You notice this guy only has one idea? But I'm not. Huh? See the two with the real dumb expressions? I think those are John and Odie. I'm trapped. Farewell, Cathood. I hope I'm this good looking when I'm a chicken. I don't know how you escaped my transformation ray, cat. Do you by any chance eat huge quantities of lasagna? Well, that explains it. But you'll never eat it again, you hear me? From now on until you're served in a bucket. It's chicken feed for you. No, no! Not me! I'm not! <laughs> oh no, all out of chicken. Oh, but wait, now's my chance to try out these earth chickens. So now the question is, how do I change everyone in town back into everyone in town? Oh, you look positively scrumptious. 
Hey, this might work out. Don't worry, you're going to be delicious. Now where's that spatula? <laughs> so how would you like someone to prevent you from winding up next to a little cup of cold slaw? Uh, please! Well, I think we can make a deal. And a deal we made. And I'll say this for the guy. He was a chicken of his word. He told me how to change him back, and then he changed everyone else back, including you. He even blanked out all your memories, so you have no idea that you were ever a chicken. Then, as he agreed, he and his aide left the Earth after promising never to return for takeout. And that's how I saved the entire planet. And now everything is back to normal. I'm going to go start making dinner, Garfield. We're having, uh... Um... Nut fried chicken. Lasagna. Fine. Like I said, everything is back to normal. Except, of course, John does lay an egg once in a while, which I don't understand at all because boy chickens don't lay eggs. Hello there. If you're waiting for something exciting to happen, forget it. This is an 11 and a half minute cartoon and I'm gonna take an 11 and a half minute nap. Oh, and Odie's not here. He's visiting John's brother out at the farm. Oh, and John's at work so nothing can bother me. Garfield! Wait till you see what I've got here. I don't know what it is, but I'll bet it's a storyline. I brought you a new friend. Thought you could use the company while Odie is staying at Doc Boy's farm. <laughs> John thinks I'm missing this. And this. And this. My editor is out of town, but he's letting me take care of... Ta-da! His parrot, Paxton! <laughs> Aren't you excited, Garfield? Paxton talks! Go ahead, Paxton. Say something. You call this a house? It looks like it was built to store fertilizer for the rest of the world. Uh, <laughs> and this furniture! If you ever want to get rid of it, you'll have to have it reupholstered before the dump will accept it. My editor left the country and didn't take Paxton along. I can see why. Well, I'll let you guys get to know each other. I have work to do. So, Garfield, what do you do all day? A lot of this. At first, I didn't know it was a cat. I thought it was a hairy basketball. That's right. I'm taking care of my boss's parrot, Doc Boy. Hey, how's Odie? <laughs> As you can hear, he's doing great. So, what's this parrot like? Well, he's kind of funny in his own odd way. Right now, he's probably spreading joy all over the neighborhood. Did you know that 62.3% of all mail contains bad news? No, I didn't know. I've been delivering mail for 37 years. Well, don't worry. You won't have that job much longer. Email is already making you obsolete. It is. <laughs> I'll be bringing Odie home later today. Okay, I gotta go. I think my mail's here. See you later, Doc Boy. <laughs> Hello? Don't call me Doc Boy! <laughs> what was I going to do next? Oh, right, the mail. 
<laughs> Herman, what's wrong? <laughs> Here's your mail, Mr. Arbuckle. I'm sorry, 62.3% of it is bad news. But don't worry, I won't have this job much longer. I'm obsolete. <laughs> Did you hear something? If I didn't know better, I'd think it sounds like mice crying. <laughs> Have you seen what they're putting in cheese these days? Plus, they're building better mouse traps. I'm just saying. <laughs> and remember, even though Garfield won't eat you, there are plenty of cats out there who will. Paxton, why do you always look at the bad side of everything? Why? Why? Come on, I'll show you why. Watch this. Good afternoon. It's four o'clock and I'm Sylvia Tuba Player with the six o'clock news. Our top headlines. Today in the world, this happened. <gasps> and in another part of the world, this happened. <gasps> and in several other parts of the world, this happened. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the stock market. Just trust me, you don't want to know. Oh, that's so depressing. I'll call Liz and see what she recommends. Haven't you ever had fun? Haven't you ever laughed? Well, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make you laugh. Music, maestro. Wasn't that hilarious? Laugh! I thought I'd never start! You should leave comedy to the pros and stick to what you do best! You are about to become an ex-parrot. Liz suggests we take him to Dr. Whipple. You're not taking me to any doctor! <laughs> Wait! Come back! Good riddance. Having him around was too depressing. Oh, if I lose my boss's parrot, he'll fire me! That's even more depressing. Oh, uh, search the neighborhood. I'll go this way, you go that way. <laughs> we just need to follow the trail of depressed people. <laughs> it's just awful. A parrot told me that I, the core man with a capital G, the world's most famous food critic, is grossly overweight, maybe a few pounds. Oh, it's awful. A parrot just told me that I'm putting on so much weight, I'm starting to look like Eddie Gourmand, the world's famous food critic. <laughs> Oh, it's awful. A parrot just told me that I'm annoying and conceited and that I make some people physically sick just to have me around. Hey, when he's right, he's right. <laughs> and there's so much mercury in a fish, you can take your temperature with a halibut. I never knew everything was so awful. <laughs> oh, not only that, but the air that we... <laughs> We're taking you to see Dr. Whipple. And if you're nice, John will buy you some ice cream. Oh, great. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> All right, now, just lie there and tell me Oh, you got to be so utterly and totally negative. Well, I guess it all started when I was an egg. Mm hmm mm hmm My mother started passing out recipes for omelets. What? That's awful. 
Dr. Whipple will cure Paxton's down-in-the-mouth outlook. He's a brilliant man and very strong. Here. <laughs> Take this poor parent home. I can't help him. I can't even help myself. <laughs> oh, this is... this is terrible. Hey, if you really feel like crying, wait till you see the bill you're gonna get for this. Uh. <laughs> and not only is this planet doomed, but have you seen the full TV schedule? <laughs> Even massive quantities of lasagna couldn't cheer me up now. Can't you think good thoughts about anything? What? <laughs> Name me one thing in this world that's pure and innocent and happy. Huh? John, I brought Odie back. <laughs> hey, I'm glad to see you too, boy. <laughs> hey, even I'll admit I'm glad to see you too. Huh? Odie, this is our new friend Paxton the Parrot. Hey, 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 knock it off, mutt! You don't know where that tongue's been. It's unsanitary. It's messy. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of nice in a way. <laughs> hey, is he always this happy? Hey, you think this is happy? Try throwing a stick he can fetch. He'll be your best friend forever. Oh. Gee, I never had a best friend. I never had a friend of any kind. Huh? Aww. Looks like you've got one now. <laughs> What's this all about, John? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's about a parrot who's finding a whole new way to look at the world. Wow! It's been six months since my boss took Paxton back. And now I can't believe that Parrot has his own TV show. What's so odd about that? I have my own TV show. And a darn good one at that. And now, here he is. The most popular motivational speaker Parrot in the entire world, Paxton. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're beautiful. And you know what else is, people? Life is. You just have to know where to look. I'll be talking about that on today's show, about how there's wonderment and love and happiness out there if you just let it in. But first, I want to dedicate tonight's show to my best friend forever, Odie the Puppy. Hiya, Odie! Odie, that's you! Well, the 11 and a half minutes is almost up, so this is the end of the cartoon. I'll just add that Paxton's right. Life is great. But it's even better with pizza. Consider how amazing the Earth is. How fascinating each and every person on it can be. Now calm down, Odie. It's just a little shot. <laughs> What's the matter? Afraid of a shot, scaredy pup? Show a little bravery, why don't you? All done. <laughs> See? Now that wasn't so bad. But he was so terrified, so frightened. What a big baby. Say, while Garfield's here, we might as well give him his shot. Well, now there's a good idea. Save a trip back here. Just give me my sh 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 <laughs> Garfield, come back here! <laughs> My word! What is that ghastly noise? All done. 
Get me an attorney. Get me an attorney named Murray. Call the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to me. Call. All done? Huh? That wasn't so bad. Huh? Excuse me, who is the veterinarian? I am. How can I help you? Oh, well, you can't help me. <laughs> I'm Mrs. Van Gelt, and I'm so frightfully rich I don't need any help. But you can help poor Prince Orloff here. Hello, Prince Orloff. What seems to be wrong with him? He coughed. Twice, I'm afraid. Quick, get an ambulance. <coughs> <coughs> Prince Orloff's regular physician is away. I'm counting on you to cure my precious widow baby dumpling. Uh, Mrs. Van Gelt, I can already tell there's nothing wrong with your precious widow baby dumpling, except he needs to exercise. What? This is my cat Garfield. <laughs> he doesn't just sit around the house all day. He tries to. Well, I wouldn't want any cat of mine to turn out like... Like that. A cat needs to run and play. I'll have you know Prince Orloff's delicate paws do not touch ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's time they did. Well, I can see you're not the proper physician for Prince Orloff. Come, dolls. Let us take Prince Orloff home and put him to bed. Yes, madam. Can you imagine a cat living like that? Being carried everywhere and waited on all the time? Yeah, I'm working on it. Oh, I think I need to get home. Is Prince Orloff comfortable, Dawes? I placed him gently on the rear seat. Oh! I'm... I'm standing! I'm not on one of those silly pillows. And now... Oh, look at me, I'm walking. I am, I'm walking. Oh, mother, if only you could see me. I'm actually doing something for myself. You know, Oster, it sure would be great to have a life like that. Servants waiting on you, bringing you food whenever you're hungry. Here's your lunch, Garfield. Oh, and I washed and fluffed the cushions in your bed. Yeah, wouldn't it be nice to have someone wait on you all the time? No! It's awful! Oh, you feel so helpless, always dependent on someone else. What are you doing off your pillow? I couldn't take any more of being waited on like that. I don't ever want to live in a mansion again. Although, I am kind of hungry. What do they feed you there? Well, last night we had lobster thermidor or crevette with a Mornay sauce and a raspberry tiramisu. Hmm? <laughs> Here, try some of this. It's better. <laughs> that? Well, that's the greatest food I've ever had in my life. What's it called? It's a rare imported delicacy we call lasagna. Here, I have eight more coming out. Oh, 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 my goodness. So what do you do for fun? For... Fun? I thought so. Come on, I'll show you what the word means. Oh! 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 Whee! Let's do that again! <laughs> Whee! Harder, Odie! Push me harder! <laughs> Watch him every minute! I'm sorry, Mrs. Van Gelt. I shall call the police. Your call is important to us, so stay alive. Tell them to search everywhere! My precious dumpling can't be alone for one second! Oh, this is wonderful! She never let me watch. Uh, what do you call this again? Television. Oh, she never let me watch television before. 
What is this wonderful program I'm enjoying so? It's called a deodorant commercial. Oh! I'll have to try that if I ever sweat. I'm going out. See you later, Garfield. Uh, see you later, Odie. Oh. See you later, Prince Orloff. <laughs> Prince Orloff! Ah! That, that woman who owns him is probably frantic. <laughs> Hello, Liz. Remember that cat they brought into your clinic? Uh, the one on the pillow? He's what, John? At your house? What is Prince Orloff doing at your house? Quick! Huh? Give us the address. <laughs> I'll take you down to Vito's and introduce you to the wonders of pepperoni and mushroom pizza. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm having so much fun, Garfield. I'm never going back to that mansion. <laughs> For some reason, I think you are. Never! Stop! We had to bring you back! Stop him! Bring my widow baby back to me! I'll bet he's going back to the park. Come on, Odie. We can take a shortcut. My baby! Why has my baby run away from me like this? I think they're heading for the park. Huh? <laughs> oh, this is even more fun than watching the odor in commercials. Ah, he's up there. <laughs> We gotta get him. Prince Orloff, you come down from that tree right this minute! <laughs> I climbed a tree. Look, look, I, I actually went out on a limb. <laughs> Madam, there's something off about Prince Orloff. He looks different. He does. Something about his face. I, I don't know what <clears throat> it is. <laughs> a smile? Why? Why, yes, that's it. He's smiling. I've never seen him smile before. <laughs> Could he possibly be happy? That would be my prescription for your cat, Mrs. Van Gelt. A little less pampering, a little more life. <laughs> oh! Sergeant, how do we write up a report on this? Yeah, we don't. The chief would never believe it. <laughs> we were right. He is smiling. Oh, my little prince. We have to make sure you get some fun in your life and you don't just sit on a pillow all day. Whee! <sighs> well, Garfield. Looks like you helped rescue your friend from living in a mansion, being waited on, and never getting to get out and live. Yeah, I bet you'd hate a life like that, wouldn't you, Garfield? <laughs> I said I bet you'd hate a life like that, wouldn't you, Garfield? I'm thinking it over. <laughs> I, 
Gilbert Bob, the greatest detective of all time, can now tell you who stole the Klopman diamond thanks to my superior intellect. Yeah, yeah, we know you're smart. Just cut to the chase, Herb. Who done it? Only one <laughs> person had access to the safe's combination. Therefore, the culprit is... Oh, no, stop! Ah! No! Who stole the Klopman diamond? I have to know. So I told the guy. Oh, oh no! The TV has broken alarm! Gotta go! <laughs> no! <laughs> How could you leave me like this? After all, we've meant to each other. Huh. I'll call the repairman. And I never did find out who stole the Klopman diamond. I'll have it back to you in a few days. Good as new. <laughs> a few days without TV? What am I gonna do? I can't just eat and sleep. I need activity. I know how much you'll miss the TV, Garfield. Ah! About as much as I'd miss breathing or cannelloni. I have an idea what we can do. Anything, I'm desperate. Uh, ah, found it. <gasps> this was my grandmother's TV. Maybe it still works. She does, why shouldn't her TV? I used to watch the set when I was a kid, and I always had the silly idea that the folks on the screen could actually see me. Folks on the screen seeing you watching? That's the silliest thing I ever heard of. Hey, you at home, stop doing that. And I especially remember this guy, Dr. Goody Good. He hosted my favorite show, Have You Been Good Today? <laughs> I loved him. <laughs> <laughs> you changed the channel by turning this knob. These old TVs didn't have remote controls. <gasps> What? You mean you actually get up and go over to the TV in order to change channels? Isn't the whole principle behind television not to have to get out of your chair and do things? You'll have to find a station on your own. I'm late for a lunch with Liz. Be back in a while. <sighs> <sighs> well, I guess I have to do this the medieval way. Buddy, come on, huh? And now, live from our studio, please welcome your favorite host, Dr. Goody Good. Oh, Dr. Goody Good? Hey, that's the show John used to watch as a kid. He's still on? Hello, children. Hey, have you all been good little boys and girls today? Yes, Dr. Goody Good. Hey, where's the color? Where's the picture in black and white? I'll try another channel. <laughs> This guy's on every channel. As we all know, the most important thing in the world is to be a good person and think good thoughts. Hi, Garfield! How is anyone supposed to think good thoughts with him around? I'm directing a movie about myself, and you're gonna film it. I'm gonna call it 24 Hours in the Life of the Cutest Cat on Earth. All you have to do is follow me around all day and film me with this camcorder. Great, Nermal. But you know it's important to start any movie with a great action sequence. Ooh, true. What kind of great action sequence do you have in mind? <laughs> Bravo! Great action sequence. Arthur! Arthur! <laughs> Now back to the new old TV. Maybe Dr. Goodygood knows who stole the Klopman diamond. You should be ashamed of yourself. That's no way to treat a friend. Who, me? Yes, you, Garfield. Right, kids? Oh, that cat, that cat. What's going on here? Is he talking about me? Yes, I'm talking about you. What you just did to that nice little fellow was very, very naughty. What nice little fellow? You mean Nermal? He's the most obnoxious... Whoa. Why am I talking to someone on TV? 
It's not as if he can hear me or see me. Where is it? I can see you. I can hear you. And I can do this to you. What was that? What did you do? Why am I all gray? I took your color away, Garfield. You see, <clears throat> I look at the world in black and white. One is either good or bad. And what you just did to your friend was bad. But you've got it all wrong. I'm actually a very likable guy. Yes, then prove it. Go out and do some good deeds, and then maybe, just maybe, you'll get your colors back. Right, kids? Yeah! <laughs> good deeds. I don't do good deeds. I don't do deeds of any kind. I just eat and sleep. <laughs> Helping an old lady across the street, that would be a good deed. <laughs> What are you doing? Yeah, I'll have you across the street in no time, lady. <laughs> okay, I got a little orange back. More good deeds to do. That piano is about to fall on that man eating ice cream. Saving a guy eating ice cream from having a piano fall on him? That would qualify it as a good deed. Hey kids, don't try this at home or anywhere else. Hey, I passed the second test with flying colors. Looks like I've got about one good deed left. Boy, good deeds to do are getting hard to find in this town. Sounds like someone is in trouble. Don't harm me. I'm too adorable. <laughs> Sounds like Normal's in trouble. <laughs> no, a good deed is a good deed, even if it is Normal. <gasps> Go away! Leave me alone! <laughs> How could you possibly hurt someone this cute? <laughs> no. Let's call my agent. We could work something out, like maybe a dog food commercial. Huh? Yeah, what do you say? <laughs> hey, you stupid pea brain mutts. Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? Yeah, like him. <laughs> no, don't chop me. Stop. Help. Help. Somebody do a good deed for me. Help. That's a really dumb thing to do, Garfield. You should get your head examined. By the way, you're starting to turn gray. <laughs> Why, the ungrateful... <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'm back in full color. <laughs> Wait till I tell Dr. Goody Good I proved I'm a good cat. <laughs> Dr. Goody Good! Dr. Goody Good! I have all my colors again. <sighs> Dr. Goody Good? <laughs> the repairman just brought our set back, and now it works fine. Oh. Dr. Goody Good? <gasps> Dr. Goody Good! Dr. Goody Good! Dr. Goody Good? If you're wondering about that old black and white TV, I had him take it away. 
<laughs> Wait! Wait! Dr. Goody Good! Wait! Goodbye, Dr. Goody Good. Garfield! <laughs> Remember Dr. Goody Good? Yeah, how could I ever forget him? He's that old TV show host I told you about this morning. Well, I got to wondering whatever happened to him. I looked him up on the internet. As we all know, nothing you read on the internet is ever wrong. Except, of course, for a lot of stuff. It says here he retired 27 years ago, and nobody has heard from him since. Hi, Doc. Hope you're fine. Come on, Garfield. Let's go have ourselves a midnight snack. Good. Then I'll be fine. Take care, Doc, wherever you are. You take care too, Garfield. <laughs> you did good today. surprised to see Dr. Whipple has a new TV show. Didn't we get rid of this guy last season? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I use the latest techniques of psychology to aid people with their problems. That means he charges people a lot of money to tell them that they're confused. Today, I am pleased to introduce you to my latest <laughs> patient. <laughs> An elephant? Either that or a mouse with a severe eating disorder. Oh, this is Shrimpy the Elephant. Shrimpy, show the people what I've taught you. Hey. <laughs> Isn't this great? You dragged me here to see a man tell an animal what to do? I'm gonna go find something to eat. As you can see, Shrimpy here has been trained with love and affection. Smile. Or I won't feed you again till August. Hmm, <laughs> nice spread they put out for the crew. <gasps> You missed three steps and forgot to do the Elvis impression. Just for that, no lunch. Hey, not that it's a lot of my business, but uh, where do you put up with this? If I don't, he doesn't feed me. Looks like he's not feeding you now. Here, have half of mine. Oh, thanks. You know, Shrimpy, I have a guy who feeds me, and I don't have to do handstands or live in a cage. On the other hand, Shrimpy doesn't have to put up with Nermal, or those twins, and Aunt Ivy, and Doggy Tongue. He's right. That cat is right. Wasn't that elephant act great? No. Huh? You moron! How 
could an elephant get past you? Sorry, Doc. I was on my break. And call the police. Call everyone. <laughs> All units, be on the lookout for one elephant. Description, Ray. Approximate weight, 7,000 pounds. What do you think all this police activity is about? Maybe they're gonna arrest Dr. Whipple for impersonating a human being. I'm going to go visit Liz. I'll see you back at the house. Bring pizza. People who treat animals like that should be treated, well, the way they treat animals. What is it with all these policemen? Hey! Huh? Huh? Who hid me? You made a break for it? I couldn't take any more of it. But it's no use. They'll find me and they'll take me back there. And he'll, he'll be even madder at me. Hide me. You gotta hide me. Hide you? You're a little large, don't you think? Couldn't I go on a crash diet? Hmm, there must be a way. <gasps> here's an old flat volleyball, and here's some black paint. Maybe... Huh? Come on, just a little more. Tuck it in. <sighs> You're supposed to be a dog, remember? Bark, do dog stuff. Come on, Spot. What kind of dog do you think that was, Henry? It looked to me like part Cocker Spaniel, part uh, Pachyderm. I don't care what it is. I'm just glad I don't have to clean up after it. Al, how many dogs have you caught this month? Well, let's see. Uh, there was that Lhasa Apso. Oh, no, she got away. <laughs> Try none. Al, you haven't caught so much as a chihuahua in months. I'm going to assign you to something a little bigger and easier to find. You think maybe you could find a elephant? Yeah. And I know exactly how to do it. <laughs> I'll sneak you in the back way. No, I don't think this will work. Huh? I'll take you in the front way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sure, like you don't have a couple of fat relatives you have to do this with. Where you live? Shh. Huh? I'll try to find you something to eat. Huh? Around here, it's mostly lasagna or dog food. Huh? Huh? Cody! I didn't mean dog food like that. Spit my friend Odie out right now. Sorry. Garfield, if you think I'm going to feed your elephant friends, you're sadly mistaken. Three, two, one. Mm. Elephant! It is an elephant! It's Dr. Whipple's elephant! Garfield, he shouldn't be here. I'm going to call Dr. Whipple. <sighs> Don't worry, Shrimpy. We'll find a way. No, I'm going back, I know. There aren't a lot of places for an elephant in this world, except on a stage. 
Hello? May I speak with Dr. Whipple? They're putting me through to his cell phone. Don't worry, Elephant. We'll have you home in no time. You... you don't want to go home, do you? He doesn't treat you very well, does he? Uh, this is Dr. Whipple. Who is this? Uh... Sorry, wrong number. Uh, well, we can't keep him here. I already have one pet who eats like an elephant. <laughs> the cat, as usual, has an idea. This is an article about a program that sends animals back to their native habitats. Oh, you think we should give Shrimpy here to the zoo? Well, he'd be happy there, but unfortunately, he does belong to Dr. <laughs> Whipple. I did it! I caught the elephant! I caught the elephant! Attention, everyone! I caught the elephant! I may be a lousy dog catcher, but I'm a great elephant catcher! <laughs> Sorry, Garfield. Looks like your friend is going back. There you are! You are in such trouble now, elephant! Don't treat him bad, Doc. Mind your own business. He needs to be punished severely. Bad elephant, bad elephant. If you think I disciplined you before, Shrimpy, wait until you see what happens now. Elephants are supposed to have great memories. You won't remember the last time I fed you, and you're going to work three times harder. No, he isn't. What do you mean? He's my elephant, and he's going to do what I say. There are laws against mistreating animals. I think we'd better take you down to jail and teach them to you. What? No! You can't do this to me! You can't lock me up like some... some dumb animal! I'm sorry for what I did, but I think it'll be all right now. What do you think will happen to him? Oh, he'll probably agree to turn Shrimpy here over to the zoo in exchange for a light sentence. Hey, this might all work out. <laughs> and look, Shrimpy, Odie got you a peanut. One without a dog catcher inside. Why, thank you, Odie. Ha <laughs> figures. I always thought Odie was kind of a nut. I feed him, he's still hungry. Meatloaf! I need to make another meatloaf! Six! Six meatloafs! And french fries! Shoe strings, not the fifth cut! Admit it, you thought that was me inside being fed. <sighs> I wish it was. My position in life has been usurped. That's a fancy word meaning purloined, stolen. And you know who stole it? This guy. Eddie Gourmand, the famous restaurant critic. You remember him? He was on six episodes last season. You see, he lost his TV show and, well, I'll start at the top. It started with one of my favorite TV shows. At Botticelli's Italian Bistro, they have a whole new way of making lasagna. Lasagna didn't need any improvement. It was perfect the way it was. They also have a lovely rigatoni, bonitas. Oh, and the cannelloni stuffed with mozzarella. An hour of fattening foods every night. Who wouldn't consider this a must-see television? Amazingly, the guy who ran a TV station. This food is just a die from. It sure is. All those calories, all that cholesterol. Right after the show, Eddie got the bad news. But why? Mr. Station Manager, sir, why? Because 
People shouldn't be eating the kind of fattening meals you encourage. They should be eating what I eat. Vegan chicken made out of soybeans, brown rice, organic sprouts with a wheat germ shake mixed with goat's milk yogurt. Uh, if I could just ask one tiny question. Is any of this food? Of course it's food! It's good food! Healthy food! The kind of food that makes your body say, thank you for taking such good care of me! Well, I, I suppose if you melted some cheese over it and deep fried it. Gorman! Do you know what people wind up looking like when they eat the food you recommend? No, what? This! And so Eddie Gourmand was replaced. The program normally seen in this time slot, Simply Fabulous Dining with Eddie Gourmand, <laughs> will never be seen again. So we can bring you this new, much better for you program. Good evening. Tonight, I'd like to talk to you about the benefits of eating tofu. Oh, there are none. And so, he was fired. The guy took it hard. This went on for days and days. <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Gourmand. One nice hot Vito's special, just for you. Oh, thank you, Vito. <laughs> that was the most delicious pizza I ever ate. Oh, hey, then uh, maybe you mention a Vito's Pizzeria on your show sometime? <laughs> Finally, Eddie wound up where all people who can't control their emotions wind up. Sitting behind me in a movie. After ruining the film and getting tears in my popcorn, he apologized. Oh, I've been like this since I lost my show, Mr. Arbuckle. <laughs> Feeling sorry for the guy, Pup? <laughs> yeah, me too. I just hope John doesn't do something foolish like invite him over for dinner. Eddie, why don't you come over tonight and have dinner with us? <laughs> ah! Oh, that would be too, too wonderful, Mr. Arbuckle. Great! I'll even make my special recipe for meatloaf. Hey, doesn't that poor guy have enough problems? That evening, John learned why you should never invite a food critic to your house. Everything looks positively scrumptious, Mr. Arbuckle. Oh, this meatloaf looks good enough to eat. I'll have some of this, and some of this, and some of this, and all of this, and then I'll have this. Oh, this. Oh, this is utterly divine! Uh. <laughs> Odie, are you getting any food? <laughs> Me neither. Let's go. Another good reason never to invite a food critic to dinner. They tend to rate what they eat. Mm, I'd give the meatloaf two stars. The mashed potatoes need more butter, so they get one mm. star. But four stars for the gravy! Well, I'm glad you enjoyed the gravy. It could have used more flour, but otherwise it was... <laughs> Who threw that banana peel on the walk? <laughs> Mr. Gourmand, are you all right? No, get, get me a doctor. I'll call a doctor. And some shrimp chow mein. I'll call a Chinese restaurant. And a large mushroom pizza with pepperoni on half. I'll call Vito. <laughs> Amazingly, the doctor arrived before the shrimp chow mein or the pizza. Better keep him here until his foot heals. How long do you think that will be, doctor? Oh, not more than a few months. Goodbye. A few months? Oh, Mr. Gromond, wouldn't you be more comfortable at home or in a nice hospital? You take care of me, Mr. Arbuckle, or I'll sue you for everything you own. 
Except the cat. Now, get me a grilled cheese sandwich. One grilled cheese sandwich coming up. With potato chips, the ripple cut kind. Ripple cut potato chips, right. And I want a pickle with that. That's how it started. Then it got worse. Uh, hello? Hi, Marco. It's two minutes past five in the a.m., and I am looking for my breakfast. Uh, uh, uh. I must have syrup. Eighteen kinds if you have them. If not, go out and buy them. Oh, and I'd like eggs. Fried, boiled, scrambled, and painted with lovely designs for Easter. There was no food for me? In short, Eddie had started to remind me of that greedy, impatient, lazy creature. Oh, let's see, what's it called? Oh, right. <laughs> me. Uh-huh. Yeah. To make a healthy chocolate cake, use no chocolate. Instead, we'll use organic yeast spores and granola. Turn it off! Turn it off! Huh? Sorry, Mr. Gourmand. I guess it upsets you to see the show that replaced yours. That! But mainly the sight of all that disgusting healthy food. I can't stand uh, healthy food. It's the cat so... has an idea. <gasps> Great show today, sir. At the latest ratings are in. What? I only got a three rating? Well, you only had three viewers. As much as I might hate it, I've got to get Eddie Gorman back. Arbuckle! Arbuckle! I want my dinner! Arbuckle! Bring me my dinner or I'll sue you! Sorry, Mr. Gourmand. Here you go. Yeah, what is this? It's an artificial chicken patty made without chicken, but with artichoke flour and modified wheatgrass. When I asked for dinner, I should have specified food! This is food. It's all part of our new healthy living program. Let's go, boys! One, two, one, two, one, two, one, You can tell how desperate I am to get rid of Eddie. One, I'm actually doing this. Eddie, we're going to start you with a hundred sit-ups. You'll do nothing of the sort. And if you're not going to get my dinner, I'm going to get it for myself. I need a bacon cheeseburger with extra bacon, extra cheese, and extra burger. <gasps> there's no food. Wait, there's one thing to eat in here. I'm saved. It's, it's... <laughs> Ready for the 50 mile hike? No, no, I, I can't survive in this house any longer! Yeah, I just found the house. He left the address in his voicemail in case anyone wanted to forward any burritos. Yeah, I've got to get him to come back. Mr. Station Manager, sir! Eddie, I want you to come back to your old job. Oh, I've got to get out of here. Does that mean you won't come back to the station? Oh, no, no, no. I'll be back on the air tomorrow. It's just that right this minute I have an emergency need for a buffet. Garfield, your idea was brilliant. Ideas are always brilliant when I'm the guy who has them. Let's go celebrate. I'm going to make every one of your favorite foods, Garfield. <laughs> Mr. Orbuckle, I'm sorry he caused so much trouble for you. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> hey, Mr. Station Manager, sir. Don't do it. Would you like to join us for dinner? He did it. Thanks, but I don't eat this kind of stuff. You know how many calories are in those steaks and the fat grams and... I mean, uh, well, it smells tempting, but... Oh, maybe one bite wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Oh, you know what cholesterol can do to you? And carbonated drinks? I only drink... Mm. Hey, this is good. Harbuckle, get me some honey! Right away. Oh, oh and I'm gonna want to try the french fries. So, uh, some ketchup. Also right away. And I don't see any steak sauce! Steak sauce, I'll get it. Deja vu all over again. Looks like we're not getting anything to eat for the next few days. <laughs> And blitzes! I want blitzes the way my mother used to make them! Uh, I'll get your mother! <laughs> and do we have any chocolate cream pie for dessert?
Garfield! <laughs> are you in the kitchen? <laughs> oh, there you are. I just wanted to tell you I'm going to the market. Oh, great. Uh, bring me back one of everything, large economy size. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay. Oh, make sure you keep an eye out for... That's silly. I was going to tell you to watch for mice. <gasps> Who's not hiding? But we haven't had a mouse in this house for months. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Hey, you're the owner of this, uh, this house? I think so. My cat might disagree. Well, I'm Pulver of Pulver Extermination. We have reports of mice in this neighborhood. Oh, not in my home. <laughs> well, I doubt that. But if you do see any mice, give us a call. We're fast and we're ruthless. Well, I'll take your card, but I won't need it. Not with Garfield on the job. I could swear I'm hearing the kind of music mice like to dance to. Hey, Squeak, another one of your relatives just arrived. Hey, family is family. Okay with you, Garf? Well, as long as they don't touch my food or interrupt my sleep, they're welcome. Great. Who is it? My Uncle Howard? My nephew Morris? It's your cousin Max. My cousin Max? What, something wrong with cousin Max? Oh, my cousin Max is bad news, and he hates cats. Ah, oh, come on, you're funning me. Nobody hates cats. Squeak! What are you doing with that... that... cat? Huh? Oh, don't worry, cousin. I'll protect you from him. I'm in martial arts. <laughs> Stay tuned, folks. We may finally have a character on this show more annoying than normal. I don't have to be protected from Garfield. He's my buddy. Whoa, your buddy? Are you out of your mouse mind? He's a cat. You don't know what cats do to mice. <laughs> yeah, they do a mean salsa dance with them. No! They eat them with salsa. You've got a lot to learn, Squeak. Well, what should I do now, eat or sleep? <sighs> sleep. I'm telling you, Max, Garfield's not like other cats. He doesn't eat mice. Oh, well then, what does he eat? Uh, everything else. I can see you need a serious lesson, cousin. Come on. There's gotta be a player somewhere around here. Hey, watch this, cousin. You're about to learn a valuable lesson. Cats, what are they good for? They lie around all day, sleeping and clawing the drapes. So far, no argument. And generally doing nothing. And then there's the most horrifying thing they do. Cats eat mice. Argument. And they do it in the cruelest way possible. A cat catches a mouse. Does he just eat it and get it over with? No. He has to play with his food, draw out the agony. So he lets the mouse go, then he catches it again. And he lets the mouse go, then he catches it again. Now oh, turn it off! Turn it off! It's for your own good, cuz. And then, when the mouse thinks he's gotten away, thinks his life has been spared, the cat strikes. <laughs> No, no, turn it off! Turn it off! Whoa. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't do something like that. It wouldn't. He's a cat. Cats eat mice. Are you gonna let this happen? Are you gonna do nothing while this cat sharpens his claws and his teeth? <laughs> I've seen what he can do to a 10-pound standing rib roast. Imagine what he could do to one of us. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not gonna stand around and become rodent-flavored cat food. Uh-uh. Oh, uh-uh, me neither. Absolutely not. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. This is ridiculous. Um, num, 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 num. Oh, are you moving or am I? I think it's me. <laughs> Hey, guys, you want to explain this? No! Uh, apparently not. Okay, 
I don't know what this is all about, but I'm not letting a bunch of rodents throw me out of my own home. Hey, if you think you're getting me out of this house... Yeah! Uh, you're making a very accurate prediction. You're not getting us, Cat! Come near us again, and you'll be sorry! Yeah, 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 yeah that's it! You tell him! You tell him! I gotta do something about this, but not now. <sighs> I'm going to take this bus into town and go to Vito's. I'm on my break, Cat. Can you wait for five minutes? Considering pizza's involved, no. But I guess I have to. I'm telling you, unless you're a lasagna or other fattening food, Garfield is harmless. He's a cat. And cats are not harmless. Relax, Squeak. With him gone, we have nothing to worry about. Mice! My house is full of mice! Nothing to worry about, huh? Everyone, hide! Garfield! Garfield! Oh, he's no use. How am I going to get rid of these... Garfield would have protected us. Cats don't protect us. Mice! Besides, what can that guy do to us with no cat around? Mr. Palmer, how soon can you be here? Ooh. Yeah, that'll be fast enough. about, because there's no cat around, huh? Relax. I can handle this guy. Hey, you get out of here. Oh, I have to get rough with this. One of Odie's toys, maybe? I hope at least he's reading the comic pages. Garfield, you gotta help us. There's this guy, this exterminator. He's got all my friends. Your friends threw me out of my own house. I know, I know. They didn't mean it. Well, they did mean it, but they were scared and... Relax, relax. While I was waiting for the bus, I figured out how I was gonna get back inside. You got that for Halloween last year, didn't you? Yeah. But it didn't work so well. I didn't get any candy, I just got a lot of cheese. Okay, now you wait here. <laughs> that big meanie doesn't stand a chance. I think I've got them all now, and... Yahoo! Is the vacuum on your back as big as the one on your head? <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> I'm gonna need another canister to hold him. Yahoo! And for him, <laughs> I'm gonna need my machine to be on max power. Ladies and gentlemen, a brief chase scene. <laughs> There's no way to hide, Mouse. Hey, pal, you missed one. What's that? One I missed. I'll capture him, then I'll get you. Hmm. Guess that cat changed his mind. It's that toy mouse again. And what's this cable attached to it? Sure were. Hey, uh, Garfield, I'm not 
not really good at saying I'm sorry. Oh, you just need to practice. You gotta say it more often. <laughs> hey, uh, we were thinking, since you're already dressed for it, we'd like to make you an honorary mouse. <laughs> oh, well, just so long as I don't have to eat any really stinky cheese. I don't know where that exterminator went, but he did a great job. <sighs> I'll bet there isn't a mouse within miles of here. <laughs> I'll be back in a while. <laughs> Anything I need to get at the market? <laughs> a list of everything. Okay. Do you think we'll ever see that exterminator guy again? Probably not. I made a mistake. That wasn't the bus to Vito's Pizza. It wasn't? Well, where was it going? Well, let's just put it this way. Down there, they dance like this. Guess I'll have to use the slightly larger bell. Meow! You rang? Sorry to be 30 seconds late. <laughs> Pepper? <laughs> oh, I can't believe I have to do this. Garfield's really got it made. Big house, cushy bed, a human who waits on him. And where do I have to live? This trash can. Worse, it's even got a view of his house. And it's close enough to smell the lasagna. Mmm, it's not fair. And maybe it's time I did something about it. Just finishing up my checklist before I leave on my trip. Suitcase pack? Check. Mail delivery stopped? Check. Food for Odie? Check. Food for Garfield? Check. 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 And check. See you tomorrow night, guys. On your way home, pick up more microwave lasagna. We'll be out. Oh, and make sure you don't open the door to anyone. I may not even let you in unless you picked up the microwave lasagna. Uh -huh. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Whoever it is, go away. Whatever it is, we don't want any. What if it's Vito delivering a pizza? I don't think anyone here ordered a pizza, but you never know. We've ordered so many of them. I know, I heard what John said about not opening the door to anyone, but this could be pizza. Yes? You know who I am. Sure. You're Bruno, the cat who lives in the trash can. I can see out the dining room window. No, I'm the cat who lives here now. Oh, hey, what's the big idea? The big idea is that I live here, and you live out there. Whoa! I hate it when John is right about something. But I don't have to be worried. Odie's in there. Odie will defeat that bully and get me back inside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, I kind of figured that's what would happen. Let's try the back way. Hurry, before it thinks to block off the doggy door. Of course, I had to make a few improvements on my new home. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Meow. Oh. 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 No, stop! and I've decided what we're gonna do next. Yep. We're gonna go live in this old trash can. Just because I'm going to marry Helen. You never oh, you this is great. When that human mind. being comes home, I'll throw him out too. Yoo -hoo. Yoo -hoo. Hey, what's he doing to my old trash can home? <laughs> He's going to fix up my old place and live in it? Uh, who cares? No, Odie. That's not the carpeting for the living room. That goes in the den. It matches the new drapes in there. There's no living room in there and no den. It's just a trash can. Huh? A satellite dish? We'll connect the dish up to the plasma screen in the game room. Wow, this looks pretty nice, huh? This is a nice deal. Thanks for having us. Hey, everybody, come on in. The water in the pool is a perfect 80 degrees. Pretty nice, huh? Gotta have that. Oh, he doesn't have a pool in there. Last one in has fleas and ticks. Buongiorno. Oh, thanks, Vito. Hey, everybody, pizza's here. All right, that looks good. I want pepperoni. I want pepperoni. No, I can't take any more of this. Pizza, pool parties. Where was that stuff when I lived there? Hey, do you mind? We're trying to watch a movie in here. Can you believe it? Someone remade Kung Fu Creatures on the Rampage in 3D. Garfield, come back up here and bring that mutt with you. What is it now? You want to trade back? You go live in that wonderful house with all the food? That dump? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Odie, we're late for the bowling tournament. <laughs> Come on, out of there! This is my trash can, and you two stay out of it! <laughs> Nerve of those guys stealing someone else's home. 
<laughs> hey, watch this. I'm gonna swan dive into my new pool. Hey, who drained the water out of my pool? And where is my pool? <laughs> Where's the bowling alley and the plasma screen TV? I want to watch Kung Fu Creatures on the Rampage in 3D! And where'd everybody go? Hey, everyone! Come back! It's too early to break up the party! Come on! We have pizza! Oh, wait. Where is the pizza? Huh? <laughs> ah, back where we belong, Odie. All of our troubles are over. Huh? Well, maybe not all of our troubles. I'm back, guys. My <gasps> flight was canceled, so I'm not going to... <gasps> <sighs> <sighs> Garfield! Odie! What did you do to the house? Well, we didn't do it. I'm gone for three hours, and I come back to a disaster. This place looks like the inside of a trash can. I can explain. Well, if I could talk, I could explain. But we didn't... You oh. don't deserve to live in this house. Not the way you treat it. It couldn't be messier around here. Ugh. Oh. You comfortable, Odie? Yeah, me neither. John will get over it in a few hours. Or days. Or years. What's that? I don't know. Some sort of sliding panel or door or something. Give it a shove. Guys, the movie's about to start. Here's something to munch on while you watch Kung Fu Creatures on the Rampage in 3D. 3D. Maybe we'll be lucky and John won't take us back. Ugh, this is great. It couldn't be any better. <laughs> Time to start the fireworks display. Mr. Allwork, I'm only a few days behind in my payments. I'm just waiting for a check from my employer. And my employer is waiting for a check from you, Arbuckle. Don't make me sue you. <laughs> oh, John's late on a bill for something or other. That guy came by to demand payment. You'd really sue me? Over such a small amount of money? I'm a lawyer, Arbuckle. It's my job to sue people. Listen to my schedule for this afternoon. One o'clock, sue someone. Two o'clock, sue someone. Three o'clock, go visit my cousin Sue. Three thirty, sue Sue. Four o'clock, stop at the market, buy a gallon of milk. Four thirty, sue the market, the dairy, and the cow the milk came from. Any questions? Nope. Tell me, Arbuckle, how is it you're always low on cash? Here you are, Mr. Arbuckle. Twelve pepperoni pizzas for your pussy cat. Any questions? This is a baby kangaroo. Not as cute as me. And this is a baby panda. Definitely not as cute as me. <laughs> hey, what are you complaining about? I gave you a crust. Not as cute as me. <laughs> not as cute as me. <laughs> 
All right, a half a crust. Guys, I need to make some fast money. I'm going to have a garage sale. I need things to sell. Garfield, look around. Find things that we want to get rid of. Things that are utterly and totally useless. Huh, I love watching nature films on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Does, after we drop my son at home, take me to the courthouse. Very well, Mr. Allberg. Who are you suing today? I don't know, but I'll find someone. Dad, could we maybe do something? I mean, you and me? I have work to do, Jack. Besides, I just picked you up at your baseball game. Yeah, and you sued the umpire. Oh, there's that Arbuckle fellow I may be suing. He seems to be having some sort of yard sale. Dawes, stop for a moment or I'll sue you. Let me sell Nermal. Oh, let me sell Nermal, please. Maybe I can get three dollars for this old lamp. Why won't you let me sell Nermal? Garfield, while I go look for more junk, put price tags on everything. And remember, price things based on what they're really worth. There you go, Odie. What you're really worth. <laughs> Two cents. A lot of worthless junk. I may have to sue him over this. Hey, Dad, look at the neat puppy. He's real cute, and he's only two cents. You want him, son? Maybe I can negotiate the price down to a penny. <laughs> Please, Dad. Oh, all right. Arbuckle, I'm buying this dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Allwork. Odie's not for sale. Yes, he is. He has a price tag, and I have agreed to pay the price specified on the tag. That's a legally binding contract. Honor it, or I'll sue you. Huh? I owe you two cents. Do you have change for a hundred? <laughs> oh, and I'll need a receipt. Oh. Look, I know he had a price tag on him, but it was just a joke. A joke? Sorry, Arbuckle. I know you're attached to this dog, but my son wants it, and I always give my son anything he wants. Yeah, as long as it doesn't take any of your time. Garfield, have you thought of anything, anything you can do to make this situation better? I marked Nermal down to a penny. Uh, too bad about Odie. I always liked him. He was a little damp around the tongue, but he was a good dog. Hey, Squeak, you gonna finish that piece of cheese? I was planning. Why? Because John's not gonna feed me until I figure out how to get Odie back. Ah! Squeak, do you think you and the Mouse Network could figure out where they took the pooch? Leave it to me, Goff. I'd do anything for you. Anything? Make that almost anything. Seven Barrister Lane. That's in the fancy part of town. No, figures. I got it from an upper-class rodent. So how do you figure to get the guy to give Odie back? I shall employ a brilliant plan. I hope I have one by the time I get there. Throw the stick and you fetch it. Uh -uh. Wanna go for a run? Uh -uh. <sighs> Whoa, nice place Odie gets to live in. If you're wondering, I still don't have that brilliant plan. Oh, it's you. Hmm. Did you come to try to get the dog back? 
Well, Mr. Allwork gave explicit instructions. The dog now belongs to his son, Jack, and that's final. Hmm. <laughs> no, you're not a little girl come to play with Master Jack. You are that pussycat again. Good day. Hey, uh, Mr. Butler, sir. It's me, Avito, here to deliver a pizza to the little boy uh, and uh, Papala with the wet tongue. No, you're not a pizza delivery man. You're still that pussycat. Good day. No, you're not the abominable snowman. Eh, it was worth a try. You're that pussycat again. You forced me to use our state-of-the-art security system, which fortunately includes an abominable snowman catapult. Huh? John needs to get one of those. You never know when an abominable snowman is going to come around. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get Odie back. I don't even know where I got those costumes. Huh? Hey, he left that upstairs window open. Okay, it's not a brilliant plan, but it's close. You don't want to do anything with me, do you, puppy? Uh -uh. I didn't need a dog for that. I could get that from my dad. Huh? You miss where he used to live, don't you? <laughs> well, that's where you should be. Come on, I'll take you home. <laughs> It appears that pussycat had the good sense to give up and leave. Now to find Odie. Oh, no, he did not. He's climbing into the master bedroom. Now to run from the butler. <laughs> no, I'm going to sue you, and that's that. Fine. See you for dinner Sunday night, Mom. <laughs> what does this mean? I don't know, but I'll bet I get sued. <sighs> I'm dreadfully sorry, Mr. Allwork. This pussycat breached security, and now I see that young Jack is missing. Also, the dog you bought him. Missing? Well, it's obvious where they are. Get the car outdoors. And you, Cat, they're coming with me. Oh, nothing's going right. Even with the garage sale, I still don't have enough money to pay off that bill. Garfield's gone, and I may have lost Odie forever. Maybe not forever. Uh, Odie, you're back! <laughs> I'm never going to let you get away from me again. You'll have to. They don't let you have dogs in prison. Mr. Allwork! I bought that dog fair and square. Dad! Not now, Jack. You stole him back, and I'm calling the police and having you charged with grand theft puppy. But, Dad! Quiet, Jack! Don't make me sue my own son. I'll do it if I have to. Hey, let the kid get a word in edgewise. Dad, I gave the dog back to him. Why? I thought you wanted that dog. What is it you really want? Why won't he answer me? What is it he really wants? Whatever it is, I, I can afford it. A dog is great, but he's no substitute for a parent. Yeah, I, I suppose you're right. Mr. Olwork, you asked me to remind you those people you needed to sue? They can wait, Dawes. I need to spend more time with my son. What's it gonna be, son? Ball game? Movie? Anything! Arbuckle, uh, that bill you owe, uh, don't worry, we'll work out something. And thanks. Thank you. Well, I still have to figure out a way to make some money. <laughs> I know, I know. You're going to suggest selling normal. Huh? No? I'm sorry, Garfield. Well, what is your idea? <laughs> what? We'll give him away, 
then charge people to take him back. We'll make millions, millions, I tell you, millions. <laughs>